Good morning! <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to Sisterhood this beautiful Thursday morning or wherever you are uh, joining in whatever time that may be. So I know some people watch it live, other people uh, watch it mm. later after work I or yeah, yeah, which is which is right. amazing, which is beautiful. But we're so, so uh, happy that you are here um, and we're really, really looking forward to this morning and everything that we have planned. And in fact, um, I think that what we're speaking on this morning is really important mm. and really anointed. And in fact, we're so excited to talk about it that we've, uh, we've had to stop ourselves uh, from getting ahead of ourselves because we basically were having the conversation before uh, you guys joined in. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be lovely. I hope you're still enjoying this new format. I, I think like a lot of people are, are really, really loving it. And um, and the conversation is rich. And I think that's mm. what's beautiful. And I love that it makes way for you guys to continue the conversation as well. So a huge welcome uh, to all the campuses right across Australia and Indonesia and anyone joining online. Um, why don't you let us know in the chat um, how, how, how you are, how your week has been. Uh, we want to know. Um, Carolee, how's your week been? It's been good, yeah. Rosie. Yeah, it's been good. We've had a big week. To be honest, um, do you know what I've spent a lot of my week doing is um, ordering. This is going to make you laugh, Margaret. <laughs> is ordering camping gear oh. off of Amazon <laughs> because my son's going on his first school camp oh. next week. Oh. I know. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And if you know the fieldings, you know, camping isn't exactly our forte. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm trying to prepare him, but I'm also trying to prepare myself. Yes. Yeah, so yeah. that's what I've been doing. Any tips are welcome. <laughs> um, I think he's excited because he doesn't know what he's in for. Right, and yeah. I'm nervous because I do know what he's in for. Yeah. So yeah, that's my way. Actually, Willow had her first uh, camp uh, a couple of years ago okay. and it was the rainiest oh, yeah. day on record yes. for like years and years and years and years and I didn't sleep that night I was yeah. just up no, the entire no, night no. thinking of her so yeah. I understand ask me, next, ask me next week huh? yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how, did you get any feedback from last week the oh, conversation around community I did in fact I loved um, we walked into afterwards after we finished our table we walked into the hills uh, campus where a bunch of girls are gathered even right now and and um, Cass was facilitating conversations and she was asking um, them, you know, who's who's shown Jesus to you? Mm. Who, you know, can mm. bring, recall to mind a person who has shown Jesus mm. to you? And um, and the feedback from those conversations have been really beautiful. Mm. And uh, people have um, commented that they were so happy. I brought my friend Rachel and that her story really impacted yeah. them. And I love that because that's just real life. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. real life and you know we're all trying to do community and life together. So yeah. I loved it and we love hearing your feedback. So thank you yes. for letting us know. Yeah, so beautiful. Well, I'm going to pray and then we're going to get to it because I have a feeling that once we get talking, mm. uh, <laughs> yeah, it's there's not going to be enough time. There's never enough time, yeah, right? When you right. get the girls together to speak. So <laughs> let's pray together. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that, um, that we can gather here today under your name, Lord God, with your covering and your anointing and your presence. Um, filling uh, this place um, and this table. And I just pray for this morning. I was just thinking, Lord God, how incredible that you purposed this moment, mm. that you planned this moment. And I pray that, um, yeah, that it would just be full of um, your presence and your goodness, um, your grace, your kindness, your love, your mercy, mm. and that anybody who is a part of this right now would, would sense that, Lord mm. Jesus. We love you. We want to glorify you yeah. this morning. In Jesus' name, and everybody said. Amen. 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 amen, amen. Well, I'm very happy about this table uh, this morning. Uh, so we have, of course, Carolee. Um, I was thinking about you, Carolee. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully good things. No, yes, good things. I think that you are such a strong woman, but uh, equally kind. Yeah. You know, like you've got, I feel like you ooze confidence, boldness, mm. courage, um, but you are so thoughtful, so mm. kind um, at all times. And I just appreciate you. And I'm so thankful that you've been a part of this uh, over the last few few weeks. It's been, it's been wonderful. So, and then we have this morning, the one and only. I mean, it's me. It? <laughs> I'm here. We have Mel Wade, everybody. <laughs> Mel Wade. Yay. Yes. And Mel, oh, yes. okay. So you work at City Care. I do. And yes. I enjoy it a lot. Tell us a little bit about what you do at City Care. Okay, so um, 
I oversee um, City Care on the north side, mm -hmm. and um, we do a lot of shine, strength courses in high schools. Yeah. We do a lot of emergency response, give out food, families, women. So we just kind of do all that stuff, but in the community. Yeah. So completely community based. Yeah. So it's kind of, you know, it's it's full on, but it's mm -hmm. awesome, and the things that we see and do are. Yeah, phenomenal. Yeah. I feel like I just sometimes I'm like I wish everyone could come and see what 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 we do. Yes. Like just you know like people give money to kilo of kindness yes. and stuff, and then I get to outwork it, and I'm mm. like, oh, if only. Mm -hmm. I might take a little you know head cam around with me, <laughs> show everyone what we're doing. You okay, should. Sorry, I, I get a lot of joy thinking about Mel <laughs> being the representative of our church mm -hmm. in places like schools. Yeah. You've yeah. shown me photos of. Um, oh, <laughs> and was that your uh, Siri? My Apple Watch? Oh, your oh, your Apple, Apple Watch. Watch. Siri, Siri must have heard you. Love That's... it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It was a green with Anything me, Anything can happen with, green me, with here. me But imagine being a teenage girl and Mel Wade walking oh. into your classroom oh to <laughs> yeah. teach you about confidence yeah. and yes. yeah, ultimately about Je mm -hmm. Jesus. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah good it is woman. green. Yeah, and I think, like, you ooze, like, positivity. I, just, I said that to you <laughs> earlier this week. I was like... I just want someone on the table who just brings life and positivity. <laughs> and the first person that came to mind was oh, Mel. Yeah. That's very kind. Actually, actually. I don't know if my kids would say that. <laughs> I mean... No. <laughs> that's okay. That's yeah, fine. That's fine. And then oh, we love Margaret. Margaret Stunt, who is... I just said, you are like my like uh, other mother. That's the deal. <laughs> you are. And um, whether it's in, you know, our, our local GP, which we bumped yes, into one another, um, or at, outside the supermarket yes. the other day where we bumped into you uh, with the kids. Like, I just I just love you. I just feel like you don't even have to give me, like, a warm hug just to feel like I feel like you... I mean, we always do give yeah. each other a little cuddle, but like, yeah. I just feel, I always feel so loved and safe around you. Yeah. And so I'm so grateful that you are in our lives and that mm. you are a part of our church. Yeah. Mm. And okay. um, and I was thinking, I was thinking back to um, the first time that I met you, I was just a little girl. I was probably like mm. nine or 10 years old, oh, a little bit older, maybe like 10, 11 years old. And you came as a guest speaker mm to Colour Conference wow. <laughs> and shared your story. And I just never would have imagined that you would no. move to Australia Neither and that would this I. would be your home <laughs> with your children and your children's children. Yeah. And it's just so wonderful that you are part of the family. Mm. So so good to be part of a family that's real yeah. yeah, and honest and true. So I'm. we are privileged. We really are. Every time I kind of go anywhere and come back, not that you go far now. Um, <laughs> you're just grateful, yeah. you know, just grateful to, to know that this is home. And I can remember going home after speaking at Colour and doing a throwaway comment to Fred saying, we could live there, you know, mm. never in a million years thinking we ever would. Right. And here we are. Yeah, wow. Home. You are. Yeah, isn't that, I think that's so like God, he gives you little like yeah. seeds mm. and then, yeah, yeah, little glimpses yeah. and then like later on in life you just and go, oh. Goes, you know who you said then? <laughs> yeah. Well, let's do that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Which is beautiful. Precious. Okay, so um, let's let's get to it this morning. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking about what we could um, theme this table this morning and, um, and we've been framing it with the words, what matters to me. Yeah. And so, you know, as we talked about before, Carolee uh, um, hosted the, the conversation last week around what matters to me is community. And as I was thinking about this, um, the words that came to my mind were, what matters to me is good news. What matters to me is good news. Now, I don't need to tell you that uh, we live in a world full of bad news, mm -hmm. <laughs> terrible news yeah. at times, uh, disappointing news, yeah. um, sad news, tragic news. Like we, we know that, everybody is really aware of that. Mm -hmm. um, and in the last, uh, the last few months in particular, over the last uh, year, um, I have realized that what I crave what my soul craves mm. is positivity. Yeah. I crave it. Like, I, and when I hear good news, it does something. It does something in my spirit. And I, I want to read to you uh, this morning from Isaiah. It says this, How beautiful yeah. and delightful on the mountains mm. are the feet of Him who brings good news, mm. who announces peace, who brings good news of good things, 
who announces salvation, who says to Zion, your God reigns. Your God reigns. Now, a little disclaimer. Taking a moment to consider good news is not ignoring or dismissing that the times are tough. Mm. Yeah. Good. You know, it's yeah. not minimizing people's pain no. and the difficulties that we may be experiencing. Uh, it's not that. But I just think good news mm. in the midst of all the circumstances of life, mm. good news does wonders to our soul. Yes. True. Yeah. Good news does wonders to our soul. In Proverbs 17, verse 22, it says this, a cheerful disposition is good for your health. Yeah. It's good for your health. Mm. Gloom and doom leave, uh, leave you bone tired. You know that feeling when yes. you're bone oh. tired? That's <laughs> yes. a terrible place yeah. to yeah. be. And so a cheerful disposition, it's good for your health. It's mm. good for your soul. In Proverbs 15, verse 30, it says this, eyes that focus on what is beautiful, bring joy to the heart mm. and hearing a good report, hearing a good report mm. refreshes and strengthens the inner being. Yeah. And so it's good for your soul. It works wonders for your soul. Mm. Good news. Uh, the second thing I thought is this, good news heals. Yes, it does. Mm. Good news brings healing. It brings freedom. Mm. It brings liberty yeah. and it brings restoration. And of course, I think of these, these, these scriptures, the Spirit of the Lord, yeah. God is upon me because the Lord has anointed mm. and commissioned me mm. to bring good news to the humble yeah. and afflicted. Mm. He has sent me to bind up the wounds of the brokenhearted, to proclaim release from confinement and uh, condemnation to the physical and spiritual captives and freedom to prisoners. That's Isaiah 61. Mm. He has commissioned us. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord has anointed us to commission us to bring good yeah. news. It's part of our mission. Yeah. It's yeah. part of our purpose. It's part of our calling. Mm. I think good news inspires hope. Yes, yeah. it does. It does. It, it inspires hope. You know, when we're at church on a weekend and you bring the praise reports oh, and yeah. for every every praise report, there's someone who's praying for the yeah. same thing. Mm. And what I love about that is that is that hopefully that person who is standing, yes. yeah. crying out to God, saying, this is my need, like this is my request, can be encouraged yes. by somebody yeah. else's praise True. report. It yeah, brings yeah. hope. It inspires, inspires hope. I think good news, it reminds us of the faithfulness of God. Yeah. He yeah. is faithful. He's mm. only ever faithful. He's always faithful. Mm. And, uh, and good news, I think it's praiseworthy. Yes. Mm. It's yeah. praiseworthy. Yeah. Yeah. And we have so much to praise God for. Mm. And if I, could, um, if I could just share with you these verses as well, uh, it says this, finally, finally believers, mm. whatever is true, mm. whatever is honourable and worthy of respect, whatever is right, yeah and confirmed by God's Word, whatever is pure and wholesome, whatever is lovely and brings peace, whatever is admirable and of good repute, if there is anything of excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think continually on these things, centre your mind on them and implant them in your heart. The things which you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practise these things in daily life. And the God who is the source of peace, and well-being will be with you. Philippians mm. 4 verse 8, it's beautiful. Yeah. And so I thought this morning what we could do is share some good news stories. And, um, and I asked our pastoral care team to send me um, the most recent uh, praise reports. Mm. And often at church, you know, I get to MC quite a little bit. And so um, we get a card and they're, and they're often summarized, but I, um, I, I read these stories and they were so beautiful. And I wanted to read out a few this morning to encourage you and so, so that we can celebrate these good things that are happening together. And so, uh, so here they are, for 12 years, I was on and off the streets, 12 years, 12 years on and off the streets. And now I have my own place. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Jesus. I'm thanking God for giving me a new accounting job. I'm praising God for my permanent residency, yeah. getting granted so quickly and smoothly. Um, I, was, I was completely, I love the words as well. I was completely and totally healed and set free from severe PTSD, wow. depression, and bipolar. Yes, wow. come on. Amazing. That's amazing. Um, I'm thanking God because I'm celebrating one year at work. Praising God for my daughter um, and husband's new home. 
uh, pray, and her husband, uh, praising God for healing me from tension when, I, um, when I'm speaking in public. And we were just talking about that. Like sometimes it's the little things, yeah. yes. but they're big things. They're yeah. mountains yeah, yeah, yeah. to us. But like, uh, you know, I'm praising God for healing me for that tension when I'm speaking in public. I had an online training with a large audience. And for the first time in my life, I didn't feel that tension and the training went well. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm praising God for my New Zealand residence visa approved. Hopefully that means they're yeah, not moving from Australia. New Zealand. But st- <laughs> New Zealand. <laughs> a bit biased, guys. A bit biased. <laughs> we're keeping. <laughs> no, but this is the praise, the praise report. Uh, I'll be reunited with my spouse after 17 months of separation wow. during to, uh, yeah, yeah, because of the um, New Zealand border closure. New Zealand, quite strict on those borders. Yeah, I mean, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, um, praising God for being offered an unexpected upgrade from an internship role uh, to an entry level full time staff job. Very cool. Yeah. Praising God for healing for my only child who was diagnosed with COVID. Uh, oh giving praise for a su- successful operation for my dad. Praising God for healing um, my grandparents of COVID. Um, praising God that I was able to lead a person to Christ over yes. the phone oh, this week. So good. Yes. It's that's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. And so I, I thought I would share just a, a, a little moment um, for our church uh, staff, our lead pastors across the earth, our, um, our amazing people. And Darmsy, many of you know Darmsy from, she's been at Colours, she's been at conferences mm-hmm. and so on, uh, leads our Hillsong Spain. Yes. Is yeah. it? Hillsong yeah. Spain. Yeah. And so she recorded a little video of some, some good news in her life. So we're going to look, look at that for a moment. Hi, Laura and all the sisterhood girls. So good to see you this morning. My good news is that we have just adopted our first baby boy, our first miracle baby. And, you know, we are celebrating it. We're so excited about it. Um, but uh, what I um, just want to share this morning is that um, I really, really believe that every good news, every great news comes with a battle comes with a fight, comes from our maybe darkest valleys in life, or I can honestly say all these months have been like the most fiery season of my life, but it's definitely worthy the wait. It's definitely worthy, you know, staying the path and keep believing that God will be faithful. And, you know, during all these months of, you know, waiting for our good and great news, um, there was a word in my heart the whole time. And this word is the word remain. And I really, um, I just want to read really quickly the definition of this word. It says, be still in the same state or condition without more moving. And, um, you know, whatever the circumstances you are right now, maybe you're waiting for that great news to appear in your life. Maybe you're in that process of waiting. I just want to encourage you to remain, remain strong, remain full of faith, full of expectation um, for the one that is faithful. Um, Remain, you know, knowing that he is our forever firm foundation. Maybe you're looking around and you're, you know, some things are just looking so scary and they're like just shaking and moving around you. But I just want to encourage you to remain believing and full of expectation and faith in the one that he's never changing. He's always the same yesterday, today and forever. And he will be faithful. And, you know, while you are waiting, while you are waiting for your great news uh, and you choose to remain, this is what I want to declare over you. Um, you know, some verses from Psalm 59, they say, but as for me, your strength shall be my song of joy. I want to encourage you while you are choosing to remain, let him be um, the song of your joy. At each and every sunrise, my lyrics of your love will fill the air for you have been my glory fortress, a stronghold in my day of distress. Oh, my strength, I sing with your joy, your praises. I sing with joy, your praises. Oh, my stronghold, I sing with joy, your song. Oh, my savior, I sing with joy, the lyrics of your faithful love for me. And you know, while you are remaining, declare this over your life. Declare that, you know, you can sing with joy in that battle. You can sing with joy in the process that you are waiting for your good news. Because, you know, when it will arrive, you will not only be the one celebrating it, but it will inspire the rest of the world around you. It will encourage the others. So I really hope this blesses your heart this morning. 
Love you, respect. <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah, Come on, let's give it up amazing. for Tansy. It's so wonderful, and we are celebrating that news with you, um, Damsy. I'm sure that she is watching this. Yes. I was going to have her live, but then we worked out the time difference, and it's 2.30 <laughs> in the morning. And oh, when you're a brand new mother, <laughs> I feel like no. let's not risk uh, any <laughs> more sleep deprivation. <laughs> Let the woman sleep. Am I right? Amen. <laughs> yeah. But we love you, and we're so happy for that for the, for that beautiful news. Um, we love you guys. And um, Okay, so... Let's let's have a little talk. Um, has there been a moment for you girls um, where you have received uh, good news? You know, like maybe I mean maybe in the past or maybe in more recent times, some good news. How about you, Carolee? I mean, I um, I've talked about this moment so many times, yeah. but um, and I brought a photo again just to show you. <laughs> it's like a tangible moment mm. where for me, you know, I have two boys. I love my boys. I can't imagine my life without them. And I know that God, you know, they were such gifts to me. And I grew up in a family of all girls. So to have two boys was just, it was beautiful. And mm. I loved it. But when we got pregnant unexpectedly with our third child, um, you know, I never said it out loud because I never would want to, you know, change anything <laughs> about what God wanted for our family. But, you know, my heart's desire was to have a baby girl. Mm. And uh, and I never found out and I never spoke about it. And, um, and that day on the 1st of August, 2017, I went into labor and, um, and it was late at night. It was very quiet ward, 11 p.m. And um, the, you know, everything happened and I had surgery and the doctors, um, you know, pulled out, this baby and um, my husband announced we have a daughter oh, through tears oh, and joy. And I don't know that I've ever experienced that a moment mm. of good news like that. And when I say that, it's because in that moment, I felt so known mm. and I felt so loved and yeah. I felt so um, understood yeah. and God had given me the desire of my heart. Like that is a, just a tangible, beautiful moment yeah. where I just remember receiving so probably precious. the best news. Yeah. And, uh, and I'll always remember that. I remember just feeling like God saw me and he knew yeah. me That's and uh, it was beautiful. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Yeah. How about you, Mel? Um, look, I personally, for me, I think recently we sold our house. Mm. And um, one thing, and this is kind of minor, but it's still good news for me, is that yeah. we love our neighbours. Oh, like yeah. our neighbours are so beautiful. We've become really good friends with them and just, you know, lived life next door, yelling out, <laughs> hanging the washing. How's it going? <laughs> you know, like, and I, that, that was one thing I, I just didn't want um, someone to move in that wasn't going to join in the community there. Sure. And so then on the day of our auction, you know, our house sold and I was sitting there just like, please, God, let it be. Like, because you don't see when you sell your house who you're selling it to. <laughs> and I was like, oh, please, God. And then we came out and we met them. They're a beautiful family. They um, they go to the same school as our neighbour teachers at. Oh, yeah. And it was like, it was just such a good story all round. Yeah. And I know it's like small and kind of minor, but it was big for me because of just God just going, it's okay, yeah, I've got I it. it. The <laughs> smallest, you know, the small things that matter to you that probably don't matter to anybody else, but God gets, He sees. And now they're going to have a great little community yeah. there. And I'm like, I'm so happy and just like... It's not quite a baby girl, but it's <laughs> <laughs> but it was good news for me and for yeah, the people. Totally. And I just was so yeah, yeah. So that's and it's the like we said, it's those little things that bring it me. is. And when you uh, when you practice gratitude, you yeah. know, it's like 100%. you see it's a new perspective. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, I think um, just to add to that, one of the things that we did before we sold our house because my kids were like stressing out about leaving and all that yeah. stuff. And I made them write on the mirror everything that they were thankful for. Mm. And it just it just yes. changed everyone's attitude. Yeah. Oh, I'm so thankful that I've got a roof over my head. I'm so <laughs> thankful. They're so funny. I'm so glad there's Vegemite in the cupboard. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> but like, it's the small things I think that lead to the bigger. And if you can thank, be thankful in the small, yes. you know, then. It, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That's why. Um, you know, like reflecting on, on these verses, I think like, you know, we as Christians, as Christ followers, I think part of our mission, like I said before, is to, um, to be bringers of good news. Yes. 
Margaret, you know, you have lived a big life and uh, and Carly and I were just we're just saying you you're always in attention that life and death tension, you know, the difficult circumstances mm. um and I, I hope you don't mind me That's sharing fine. this, but even even this week, you know, Margaret actually lost her brother, mm. her younger brother uh, on Saturday. Yeah. On Saturday. Mm. And um and when I asked uh, you to be a part of this, um of course, you didn't even mention it. I found out later. And so I I contacted Margaret last night and was like, "Are you sure?" Mm. Um and she beautifully said, um, nope, I spoke to Jesus about it. <laughs> and uh, and he said, yes, I should still go ahead and be a part of the table this morning. So I'm just so grateful that you always show up. Yeah. You always turn mm. up. That's all we have to do. Yeah. And that's good news. Yeah. I think if you know that, and I think that's the whole thing. It's like, and, and I, it was quite shocking. I mean, he had cancer, but my elder brother has also cancer. So mm. we were kind of ready for one. And then my brother was like, <coughs> excuse me, on, fr on Friday, I spoke to him for an hour, which I'm so grateful for. Yeah. And I could give thanks to that because they're in England and when they're asleep, we're awake. Yeah. And one of the whole thing of his journey kept saying, I can talk to my sister in the middle of the night. Mm. And when I spoke to my brother, he said, oh, he was so happy he could talk to you in the middle of the night. And for me, that just gave me so much peace. Mm. Yeah. And peace is so important mm. in those moments. Mm. And to give thanks, the thanks that we can actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. Thanks that, you know, I could talk to him. I prayed with him. He wanted peace and patience. Mm. And last week I prayed that for him. Mm. He said, I'm not patient. I said, can I pray with you? Not yeah. for you, but with you. Mm. I think we need to pray with people. Mm -hmm. You know, we often say, I'll pray for you, but I want to pray with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I did and he cried. Mm. And I said, you know, that's what Jesus brings. Mm. He does, doesn't he? He mm. brings what we ask for, like, mm. you know, the ordinary. Right. <laughs> in that, and, you know, we didn't know then mm. what was going to happen on Saturday. Wow. Yeah. Um, but Jesus did. And mm. I think we've just got to keep looking for those mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. things in the moment. Of course, you know, I spent Monday crying. Yeah. It's okay to cry, yeah. okay? Yeah. Um, but he wouldn't want any of us to stop and not live our lives to the mm. full. He, he was always really proud of me for what I did. Mm. He's like, I think you're crazy, you know, <laughs> traveling the world, <laughs> you know. He's like, are you ever gonna stop, you know? And I'm like, no, <laughs> not till I get to heaven yeah. and say hi, yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but for him, that was, he felt that was important. Mm. And he knew that it was important to me. And I think we can celebrate mm. lives even in death. Mm. And that's a choice. Yeah. It is a yeah. choice. And I'm just grateful that we can do it as a family. Mm. Yeah. You know, people have been kind. Mm. And that, that's, you know, it was lovely. Laura came straight back, thank you, and said, are you okay? It wasn't like, well, come on, you know, that's not who we are. Mm -hmm. If you're listening and you're struggling, just remember there's people who are kind. Mm -hmm. They're actually kind and they'll help us. Mm -hmm. But so often um, we don't ask for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if you're struggling today, you know, if you're bereaved, Jesus is very real yeah. and we're all here for you. Yeah. So just get in touch. Yeah, mm. yeah. I think one of the lovely things, Laura, when you um, when you sent uh, me a text on Tuesday and you said, you know, the thing that's really been playing in my mind is what I love is good news. Mm. I um, it's Something, you know, in my spirit just kind of leapt because, well, first of all, um, the, the thing that, that really defines you, Laura, is uh, purity of heart mm. and... Um, you know, of all the wonderful things that you are, you are pure of heart. Mm. And the Bible says that blessed are the yes. pure in heart because they will see God. And I felt like as as I meditated on what you had texted me, I felt like God said, I want I want girls to see me. I want girls to see me this mm. week. Mm. I want um, them to open their eyes and see me in every day. And the thing about this whole tension is, you know, um, like... It, who is the man in the Bible that gives God the most praise? Who's known for his praise is David. Yeah, yeah. The Psalms are full of praise and gratitude mm. and thanks. However, the Psalms are also filled yeah. with a lot of honest yeah. and audacious yes. um, lament yes. and a yeah. lot of, um, God, where are you in this yeah. moment? God, yes. wait a minute. Like, so mm. we, I think sometimes we take gratitude and we think that it's not authentic. Like to just speak on the good things mm. is yeah, kind of like, yeah. it lacks authenticity. Mm. Like we're just trying to, but you know what? It's, it's not at all. It's not at all like the good news and the, the um, giving God praise for the little things. This week, my son went to bed and he, we prayed before bed every night and he, said, he started his prayer by saying, um, thank you, God, that you speak to me. 
Oh. And then he just kept going and prayed for us, you know, little things. But I thought, he does? Like, he does? You know, well, and my husband burst through the door last night at 8.30. Yeah. I was talking to you at the time. Yeah. And he was buoyed. I said to you, yeah. he was just like, he was buoyed. And the reason was he had spent the whole day riding with Young and Free. And he met countless new young yeah, people, yeah. young, young people in our church yeah. who were writing songs, good songs, mm -hmm. and who loved Jesus. Yeah. And it was just, I mean, for us, it's been our prayer our whole lives yeah. that worshipers would rise out of this church and it was happening before yeah. our very eyes. I just, it's not inauthentic to yeah. be grateful and to yeah. hold attention yeah. of what life is really ha happening. Yeah, 100%. I think it makes us very approachable. Yeah. yeah. It's, it, it's not, otherwise it's like, are they for real? Yeah. Mm. But the realness is that we can. Yeah. You know, we can actually still keep going. Totally. Mm. Because I would be a mess without Jesus. <laughs> Seriously. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I know I'd probably be dead, <laughs> you know. And, and so therefore the, it is good news. Yeah. It, it, we have good news to share yeah. even in the midst of, yeah. you know, when things are difficult. Our son in love has been out of work for two years. Mm. And, you know, the good news is we still love Jesus. Yes. Mm. The good news is that we all still have faith mm. because two years is a long time to keep waiting for something. Mm. And some of you may still be waiting for things right now. And in the wait to keep your faith is good news. Mm. Right. You know, and all our grandchildren, every time we had an interview, they'd be like, this is the one, Dad. This oh. is the one, Dad. You know, and so when he got it, we were all dancing around the kitchen. Oh. You know, everybody Love was jumping it. up and down. And I think we didn't just go, oh, yeah, he's got a job. It's nice. Mm. You know, it's like we yeah. need to learn to celebrate yeah. the wins. Yes, and I think so often we kind of go, oh, that's good. Good. I'm glad that bit's mm. over. Right. But I think we have to learn to celebrate yeah. the wins. Yeah, we move yeah. on really we quickly. Do we do too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Too quickly. And we really, we've kept celebrating. We're like, mm. we'll celebrate his first payday. And, you know, yeah, because we need to live like that. Mm -hmm. We'll celebrate every win because mm. we got there. Yeah. It was a journey, but we got there. Yeah. And I think that makes it even more fun yeah. because you know the celebration's coming. Mm. And like our grandchildren, like, what are we going to do? I'm like, we'll think about it. Get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> and the tension makes those moments yeah. just yeah, that great. much sweeter, yeah. so much sweeter because, mm. you know, like we've fought to get yes. here and it, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't mm. been. It hasn't been easy, and life isn't easy. No, no. <laughs> when times are like hard, even just you know, like you know, last night I was awake with my baby in the middle of the night, and I was thinking, this is not easy. <laughs> and then I remember, no one said it would be easy, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know, but it's like it's. It just makes those sweet moments even sweeter. Yeah. The yeah. tension. Yeah. How can we um, be carriers of good news in our communities, in our neighbourhoods? Look, I mm. think um, just picking up on what Carolee said before about being authentic, mm. and I think um, it's it's there's actually really good ways for us to be the good news in someone's day yeah. and be that carrier of good news. I mean, I was saying before to the girls, like um, just saying, asking the lady at the at Woolies, you know, in the checkout, how's your day been? Yeah. With a genuine smile, people are not ready for that. Right. They're not ready for a wave, a hi, a thanks, a <laughs> good on ya, like your jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I think some people are so used to people firing up and not being, mm. you know, but when people are happy, they do to tend to think that it's not authentic. Yeah. Mm. But it is authentic. Mm. And it's like sometimes out of the pain yeah. comes the most authentic happiness that yeah. we can yeah. find. Yeah. And and that's kind of my, mm. you know, like people look at me sometimes and think, I mean, I okay, silly story. <laughs> well, not silly, but just there was a girl, I went to a high school last year and there was a girl in the class that, that literally was like, this girl is so happy talking about me. <laughs> She's triggering me. I'm out of here. Why is she so happy? And she, and then, you know, it was, she was being very teenager, but we had a chat at the end and she, it just turns out no one around her has got any kind of genuine joy. 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 Wow. Yeah. And, and I was just being myself, how are you going? And then I talked to her about some of my past and how, what my life was like as a teenager growing up. And she's like, and you're still happy? Yes. And I'm like, yeah, because... You know, out of that pain came great joy in finding God and finding yeah. the peace and the joy that God brings. And 
So I feel like every day things, a wave, a happy, you look good, yeah. good a on smile. you. A smile. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> like just, you know, no road rage, just a bit of a wave. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Patience. Yes. You know, like the, those small yeah. things mm. equate to big things mm -hmm. for some people we don't even know. And That's our true. easy good news is a, can be massive good news for someone yeah. else. Yeah. yeah. So. That's true. Yeah. Yep, that's my... Uh, I think it's important that we kind of can't make a choice to do that. Yeah, 100%. You know, I feel, I wake up every day and say, Jesus, mm. use me. Yeah. Come on. I'm very, very, very focused mm. on, don't let me miss someone. Mm. Share your heart with me. Yeah, yeah. So what do you want to do for someone today? Yeah. And I think we can all do that. It's not hard. Yeah. It's like, just check in with him. What's what's on the agenda? Yeah, yeah. And it could just be a smile. Yeah. It could just be a phone call. Yeah. It could be a text. I texted someone last week and they're like, you are not going to believe, yeah. you know? It was just yeah. a text. Yeah. yeah. Following just, those prompts, yeah, isn't it? it Following that's the, the thing. It's just, it was just a text. Yeah. And they came back like, you just changed my whole day. It was a text. <laughs> and we can all do that, yeah, yeah. all of us. It's not, mm. I think some people just think, oh, it won't make any difference if I don't do it. Someone else will do it. Well, they won't care. Actually, everybody cares and everybody mm. wants to be cared for. Yeah, exactly. They do. At some point we have to be moved from being like recipients of the good news yes, and recipients right. of the grace and contemplators of the grace and the goodness right. of God in our lives right. to actively, active participants in passing it on, yeah. passing on the grace yeah. and the goodness that's been given to us. Yeah. And there has to be a connection to those two yeah. things. You know, yeah. we could sit, this week I made a list and I contemplated the good things that were going on in my life. And then it was funny to me, I never really contemplated how I was going to share that with other yeah. people <laughs> and until you, you know, you asked us to share it. And I thought, you know what, that's got to be, they've got to go hand in hand. We can't yeah. just simply be recipients of his yeah. goodness yeah. and the good news, mm. we've got to be passers on mm, of the good yeah, news. Yeah, we do. And I think people, we think people don't need it. It's like we talk ourselves out of things yeah. rather than in. Yeah. Mm. And I think we have to remember it really does make a difference. No, yes. yes. And the other thing we're doing is, and we, I think we forget this, is we're storing up treasure in heaven. Mm. Yeah. You know, that when we bless other people, we yeah. bless Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when you were kind to that person, you were kind to Jesus. Yeah. And it's on our side of credit in heaven. Mm. Yeah. And when we get to heaven, we will have a side of credit, yeah. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm very aware of that. I'm like, Lord, I want to make sure that when I stand before you, there is a side of credit yeah. in the book of life written next to my name yeah. of what I sowed here. That when you, he said, when did you feed me? When I bought, you know, when I paid for someone's coffee. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not a lot. Mm. But if we're not doing that, what are we doing? We're just become, like you say, takers. Yeah. Mm. Um, and I think, that's sad. Mm. It's so much better to give than receive. So much better. And yet we don't do it, aren't we funny? Mm -hmm. And yet how many of us know if you do good, you feel good, yeah. hey? Mm -hmm. So why don't we do it every day? Aren't we funny? Yeah. <laughs> because we feel great when we do it. As soon as you do something good, don't you think, hmm, that was nice. I feel quite good <laughs> <Yeah>. right now. <laughs> and yet if we plan that, we could feel like that all the time. That's God's goodness mm -hmm. to us is that we are meant to feel good yeah. because that's how he made us. And yeah. so I think we can do that over and over again with people yeah. and store up treasure in heaven. And if we don't get thank you, some people want something back. Yeah, right. Can yeah. we love unconditionally? Yeah, can we right. give unconditionally? Yeah. Because for us, that's on the side of credit. If someone thanks me on earth, hmm, my thanks is gone in heaven, mm. you know? So don't thank me, just enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> Because right. I'd rather store it up in heaven. Yeah, your applause is in heaven. Yeah, and that's what we're looking for, isn't it? It's mm. His attention. Yeah, yeah. You know, we don't need people's attention. I want to make sure that His eyes mm. are on the things that we do. Mm. And then it's fun. It is. I, and I think it's, um, it, even for us, you know, um, when we celebrate with people, you yeah. know, celebrate people's wins, mm -hmm. um, it's really actually very biblical. Yeah. And, yeah. Um, and it says a lot about us. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, often people can be winning in life mm -hmm. and instead of being jealous or threatened or whatever, yeah, when you actually on. like genuinely yes. lean in and go, that is so wonderful. Mm. Like, congratulations. Yeah. Like, how incredible, how beautiful, how faithful has God been? Yeah. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing or you found the man of your dreams yes. or yes, you're having a baby <laughs> like, or you know, whatever, you made it into that team or yeah, you got yeah. that job that you desired. Like we should celebrate together because yeah. I think there's something so, uh, to be honest, kind of cultural about that. Yeah, like it is, is kind of cultural. It shouldn't be, but it is. Mm. And so when it's attractive, yeah. mm. it's attractive and it says, 
uh, it says so much about who we are yeah. as Christ yeah. followers. Yeah. And and if I could just finish on this, because I want to leave room for, for, for you women, lovely ladies, uh, to have more conversation. Yeah. But, you know, Jesus, gospel, is our forever good news. Yes. Yeah. Are always good yes. news. Yeah, yeah. And I think if we can uh, wake up in the morning and remember, oh, like, yes, yes, this can be difficult. Like, yes, this, this can be, the circumstances can yeah. be hard. Yes, we live in that tension, but like we have Jesus. Mm. He is our good news. Mm. That is the truth that we live by. Mm. That is the truth that we stand on. Mm. That is our foundation. That is our driving force. Yes. Like the good news, our forever good news, mm. Jesus, yeah. the gospel that we live by, that we hold to. Um, if we live like that, how different would our days oh, be? Totally. Different. You know, yeah. how how um, how more much more impactful yes. would our lives be? Mm. You know, and so I wonder this morning. I'm going to pray in a moment, but I wonder this morning if we can just contemplate that and and um, and figure out how can we apply this? How can we apply this yes. daily, even more intentionally, mm. uh, with more purpose, with more mission in mm. mind, uh, because that ultimately is the Great Commission. Yes. Yeah. That is our commission, to be bringers of the good news that is salvation in Jesus, to announce peace, oh, yeah. to announce salvation, yeah. which is so lovely. So yeah. let me pray for you. Uh, thank you so much again for being here today. We love you so much. Uh, Lord Jesus, I thank you for your girls. And I thank you, yeah, thank you for you. <laughs> thank you that you are, mm. you are the ultimate good news, that you came so that we could have life mm. to save us from ourselves, to save us from our sin, to heal our diseases. Uh, and Lord Jesus, I thank you that you bring peace, mm. you bring joy, yes. you bring so much that we have to uh, be grateful for. And I pray this morning that we would be overwhelmed with the good news that is you. Yes. Lord Jesus, we love you. We love you. We're so grateful for you. For you mm. in Jesus' name, and everyone said, Amen. 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 Have a wonderful week. We love you.